This is P, and we're back Saturday. This is P, and we're back Saturday, May the 29th, 2021, heading to Memorial Day weekend. And as you can see in the title below, I'll be unboxing the Joy 1. So, yeah. So, first off, um, if everybody's going on vacations or really celebrate Memorial Day weekend out of town with friends or whatever, um, still practice the social distancing if you haven't been vaccinated yet. Still be aware of your surroundings. A lot of the restrictions have been um, lifted as far as wearing the mask and temperature checks and all of that in public places. But still, keep your eyes open because you don't want to get sick and you don't want to spread anything um, that's contagious such as the coronavirus. Comment below if um, you have received your vaccination and which one. And also comment below um, if you subscribe just now. Um, if you're a new subscriber. So yeah, when you're ready to get into this Jordan 1 unboxing. So basically, um, this is the box. You get the Just Do It tape that lets everybody know when you receive it that it's a product from Nike. Um, and usually they ship from Tennessee. So just keep that in mind. And I basically ordered this from Nike. Um, we'll get into all of that, but it was basically like one of those shock drops and it's a restock um, and I'll try to break down all of that for you guys um, so hopefully you can catch the next ones because it was actually two and I missed one and they do it like on days sometimes where there's big releases so it's almost like a distraction of whatever your gameplay is and especially um, depending on your funds what all you're planning on buying that the release day like today is Saturday it's a release day so um, check out Nike uh, for their releases, their launch calendar, Nike, Champs, Foot Locker, Foot Action, Hibbit Sports, Dick Sporting Goods, um, Jimmy Jazz, uh, East Bay, Finish Line, and all of those. You have to stay on top of it um, to get a shot at some of these releases. So let's go ahead and slice this open. I'm sort of excited about this. And um, I actually received these Wednesday. So usually, um, if you order on the main release day, which is Saturday, which keep in mind, it's releases throughout the week now. Um, and they usually drop, especially for Nike at 10 o'clock. But a lot of brands have releases on Saturdays. And from Nike, you'll normally receive your package delivered on Wednesday. This is an Air Jordan 1 official box. So the Jordan 1 OG High Nike box is usually uh, for men in black and this infrared Nike with the Nike swoosh. Nike on every side of the box. And your information is right here. So I was lucky to get these true to size, nine and a half. It's the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. And um, the retail was 170. So plus tax is gonna put it at like 181 or something like that. And these are white, black, and university blue. So the actual colorway title is university blue. So if you're new to the sneaker game and you hear colorways, um, like when I first started getting Jordans and we're talking Jordan 5s and we're hearing grapes, Oreo, these are retro color colorways. When you hear bread, that normally means black and red, um, Concord, like white and like dark, dark purple, so forth and so on. And all brands have colorways for the major release, colorway titles, that is. So just keep that in mind. So, Jordan 1's, this thin little box, and the top looks up like this. And to be a restock, this is packaged well, like, 
Hopefully the sneaker is on point when I flip this down to the paper. Whoa. Packed perfectly. Shout out to everyone that works for Nike and um, the packing department, the distributors, everybody that works in delivery, such as UPS, FedEx, DHL, U.S. Postal, all of them. Because think about it, they work hard to get you your package that you're waiting for in the hot heat of summertime. Yeah. They're ripping and running all day. Essential work. So this is the left shoe. The left sneaker. Magnificent. Um, quality that I see so far. And at one point, this shoe was being tell, was reselling for 500 plus. I know somebody that paid 500 for these, personally, in a size 10. Right now, I'm seeing um, 466 in this size on StockX, plus shipping, plus tax, and the long wait. Um, so keep that in mind when you're checking out my store on eBay, where you can have it shipped to the authenticator. Um, so yeah, check out my store on eBay, I'll leave the link below, and I always beat those prices, most of the time, so uh, yeah, University Blue, University Blue means, basically means Michael Jordan went, he played in the NBA for the Chicago Bulls, okay, and the Wizards, when he came back from his second retirement from the game that is. But the college that he went to was UNC, the University of North Carolina, where their mascot is the Tar Heels. North Carolina, Chapel Hill, biggest rival the Duke Blue Devils, but Michael Jordan went to UNC, and then later on, the NBA, the greatest of all time. Now, this colorway is University Blue, Michael Jordan never wore in 1985, so this is not an OG colorway, but the model of the shoe is, right? So you have this university blue on the bottom, the little star attraction. You have the white, crispy white, suede, university blue. It's not a long hair suede, maybe even closer to new buck, but as you go up, um, it goes throughout the swooshes in black, tumbled leather, tumbled soft white leather behind it, tumbled, super tumbled white leather in the toe box area with the perforations. The tumbleness is like the quality of, I think, the 2015 shattered backboards or the 2016 or 17 shattered backboards 2.0. The quality is really good. And um, the suede is similar to the 2020 mochas, like that material. So you got black right here. The Air Jordan Wings logo in black. The tongue, soft nylon material. Black Nike Air and University Blue and the information on the back of the tongue in the University Blue. Black lace is already installed. Um, the Carolina Blue laces would just blend the blue in good, depending on if you got like a Carolina Blue shirt on, t-shirt or jersey or something like that. But I think the black laces hit the hardest because it's going against this blue to sort of set it off, right? Then it goes in perfectly. It matches well 
with the swoosh in black. And even in the fall, if you're wearing like um, black jeans, definitely look good. Summer, black shorts, the blue jeans, of course. And the interior is basically black Nike Air University blue on the inside. And when you look on the rear, um, you just basically see the different color patterns and layers. If this little stitching right here would have been in black or Carolina blue, that could be crazy, comment below on what you guys think. All right, so first of all, I wanna give a shout out to um, my friend Justin, check him out on Instagram. OG McGee. I'll try to leave a link um, in the description below. He resells sneakers and we've been friends since like high school, junior and senior year. Um, we linked up with music, apparel, and now this sneaker game. So um, basically, I was trying to help him out secure the Jordan 7 purse German collab that was released on Saturday. So um, he had changed his mind on those. And then he hit me with a text and good thing I saw it or heard my notification saying that these was restocking. So I immediately jumped on my phone and it was like you had to enter the draw. So I entered the draw, um, get my little tips and tricks and then I entered it on um, another device. So I had two chances. So then I went on about my way, whatever. It's in the bathroom and I heard the notification and I'm not even thinking that I got a shot with these. Cause I haven't, out of all the releases, I haven't had any Jordan ones this year, like OG style. Um, he actually hooked me up with the review I did on the Jordan High Comfort. Um, in the red chili colorway, so check it out. Those shoes are actually clean too. Um, and last year in 2020, I doubled up on the Air Jordan OG High One Mocha, and he actually copped a pair from me for resale. So he was like, "Yeah, that's a restock." Get the notification and what? I won. I was like, "Whoa!" So then I told him. I think he might have been working on his sevens. He changed his mind on me ordering because he didn't want to get stuck with two pair. So um, he told me to try some more and the draw was up. So I was just looking at other um, uh, retailers and I wasn't able to secure a pair. But if he hadn't hit me up with this restock, which check for restocks today um, or on Saturdays, then I would have never knew about these. So, yeah, shout out to him. And um, also, oh yeah, they restocked the Silver Toe OG High. Comment below if you was able to get those. By the time I scrolled down on the app to look and I saw those, the draw was closed. Dang, I wish I had had a shot with them, but who knows how Nike works. If I had an answer for those, I might would've got those cool, but not would've got these, which I really like. And like, whoever did like the color blocking, when you hear color blocking, it means the different areas. Like this concept is so crazy. I mean, everything is perfect from the Carolina blue hit on the bottom, the white and the blue. And if you're a Jordan fan or been taking a lot of L's on Jordan ones in the last two years, like most people have, if you was able to get these on the restock, I know you're excited. Um, if you're going to keep them or resell them, uh, comment below if you was able to get more than one in pair of some kind of way. And comment below, give me a shout out on um, the good luck. These are material things, so I don't really want to say blessing um, unless you're counting on their resale. But um, they're sneakers, they're fun. Uh, to get as part of fashion, it's positive fun. Yeah, and 
I almost wanted to do an on feet. Comment below if you want to see an on feet. But I probably won't. I want to keep these honestly dead stock. A lot of people list their items as dead stock. And they have tried them on under a fresh carpet or hardwood floor. So nobody knows. But I just want to keep it honest and keep it 100. And then some buyers don't care. You know. For that. Yeah. But this is it. The OG high. So I got some more videos coming soon. Um, electronics. Supplements. Um, I got something for... Um, unboxing for ultra detailing I got like I said as far as sneakers um, I got a pair that finally came in it was on back order story I got to tell you guys about it I wonder if you all have the same and the thing about it is I thought they were so limited now I'm not even pressed because I can go straight on champs unless they sold out and put them to my cart and that was the whole thing I wanted I wanted them to be limited so we're gonna see how they look in person and um, They'll definitely probably be up for grabs there by Nike. Comment below if you can guess which sneaker I'm talking about. I'll give you a hint. I ordered it back in April. Um, I love the model. The model is from the 90s era. A colorway um, that hopefully looks good. But I had this crazy back order and if I never had a deal like a chat, then they wouldn't have came in priority ship. But they are champs, or was. So, yeah. University Blue. I wish I had some more Jordan 1s to compare these to, but I don't. Um, as far as Jordan 1s, just for kicks, I started um, reselling in 2014. So in 2014, I was able to get, I was like, why is it so difficult to get the OG High 1s? And, um, the first pair that, um, I can't remember what I tried for, but it was something like a, um, a gem red suede that it released. Crazy, the red, white, and I really wanted them, and I didn't get that you could really take L's um, on the ones. They were just so difficult, so I couldn't get those. I remember not being able to get the black and white. Um, OG high ones and the quality on those wasn't even that crazy. I really wanted the OG UNC blues with the plush soft leather throughout Carolina blue and white. I couldn't get those. And I think I finally looked up on the black gum. Um, because what happened is it was always like the Jordan 4s and the Jordan 11s that was the most popular. And then like the fives and the sixes. But I'm going to say in 2013, before I got into the resale game, um, the OG highs took off. And now, in 2021, people are even settling for the mids and the lows. Um, so, I got the black gum, which sort of looked good. The quality had the wax laces, but I sat on those, trying to sell those for years. And finally, I got a good price on them um, later on. But after those, uh, I started getting a few here and there. I'm going to say in 2015 and 16, I got pretty lucky. Um, I had got like the gold toes, um, the shadows. I remember getting those. I remember getting the royals. Um, like I said, the shattered backboard 2.0. Um, and some other ones that was real nice. The OG Black Toes, Fire and Flames. Um, and then I paid a little resale for like some breads and some more Royals. And then um, the Bread Toes as well. And so forth and so on. And I took a lot of L's on different ones. So comment below your top three cops on OG High. Jordan ones that you felt like you really got lucky on. And if this was a pair, comment below if this was your first um, cop in general. Let's say you got your first job, jumped online, and this restock was your first pair ever. So keep the comments rolling. 
comment if you've been uh, if you subscribed as well. And yeah, this is P. We'll get a close up on these and maybe a little bonus on the outro. Yep. Say what? Yes. You see the tomboy love is real.